Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here, coming to you today from St. George, Utah. What am I doing today? Well, my, my good buddy here, Wes, he's got to head down uh, back toward Quartzsite. And instead of taking his RV, shoo shoo tuck, shoo tuck, he's going to get a rental car. And uh, he's got a couple days he's going to spend down there. So he thought he'd do that instead of, uh, instead of his RV. But uh, we got to head into St. George, go to Enterprise. But I've got a, a, a mail a mail service here in town that I've had my mail forwarded to, so I got to go pick that up. And it wouldn't hurt to cut this mop off the top of my head. So that's what I'm doing today. Y'all come with me. Look what they gave him for a rental car: a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. How much does this thing cost? 109. A day? For two days. For two days, unlimited miles. How many miles? I like it. I know, right? Huh. It'd be a little tougher Dixie to get in and out of, but we can do it. I like that Jeep. Looks pretty new. Just back up. Rubicon. So about 50 bucks a day, rent you a Wrangler. You see the difference in the size between the two? Have a safe trip, sir. Thank give, you. give me a call when you get back in here and I'll come back and get you. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you for the ride. No problem. I'm gonna go four wheel now. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's one thing she made me initial say, do not go forward with this thing. Here we go. Mail one more. I'm learning how to use these little places better. Seems like every town has got one. And uh, so I have a mail service now out near Hoover Dam. And she sends me packages wherever. But I've had a horrible time uploading my videos. I send my raw video clips to an uh, uh, online editor. And uh, I use a MiFi. And I also use the unlimited Verizon. Nothing's working. So I'm trying a new MiFi with a new AT&T carrier. And I believe I'm going to be getting a new phone here soon. I think it's in the phone. But I uh, gotta rule out some things. One more thing, not off my list. Well, I went in and I talked to the lady, and she says that y'all can stay in the bathroom till I get my hair cut. Great clips. You, you never know till, till you ask. Oh, uh, can I have a cat? No, you can't have a cat. Can I have a cat? No. Let me put your vest on you. Well, she did okay with it. I gotta put some gel in it. Try to make it stand up. But, it feels a whole lot cooler, that's for sure. So I got some nice grass here. I let the wolf pack run around for a minute. And I'll figure out the rest of my day. Tuck, tuck. Nice seeing grass again. 
babies are enjoying it. Mimi! <laughs> Young monkeys. Young monkeys. Loves that grass. So mean. Ow, Chuck. Ow. Woo. Stopped and got some gas here in St. George. Red Cliffs. Filled up the tracker. We have different octanes out here 85, 88, 91. Three, three sixty-nine a gallon. Something has happened. I don't watch the news. Yep, I don't know what's going on. At least this thing gets over thirty miles per gallon, and uh, kind of indulging in corn nuts, barbecue flavor. I don't eat them often. But they may like some. Mm -mm. Thank you, Daddy. I like corn nuts. They're crunchy. Let's get on back down to Hurricane. Look at the views up there. I wonder how much that costs. Lifetime's work to overlook a gas station. You don't even own it when you've got it. You don't own it with a deed in your safe. No, this is much better. RVs are much better. Woo. My head feels a lot cooler. Saw a sign for Quail Run State Park over here. Thought I might go see if they're got some camping. Get us a different spot. It's a pretty place out here in Utah. I thought Arizona was pretty. We're up here on the reservoir. I see some RVs kind of scattered. Might get lucky. Bunch of RVs in here. See the prices. Five per vehicle per campsite. Park National Park passes are not valid in Utah State Parks. Tucker, you're a nut. So does it look like I'm going to be staying here? Water temp, 64 degrees. A little ground squirrel. Martini sees it. Did you see that? I saw that old rat. I saw that old rat. I did. This beautiful spot. She said there are no hookups, no showers, no nothing. $25. See what this campground looks like. Got 
little shelters. It's pretty enough. Got a drinking water. It's fifteen dollars a day just to come in here. Park your car. So this is right outside of St. George, about 30 minutes from Zion, 45 minutes from Zion. Most water I've seen in quite a while. Stop look at this little shelter. It's made out of wood. They're gonna price themselves right out of business. You can get a better look at one of these shelters right here. See, they just had a price increase a few weeks ago. Never seen that before. Fire pit, free wood. There's a picture if I ever saw one. Martini, Martini. <whistles> All right. Get on back down the road. squirrel looks like that's about it daddy is hot yeah, it's not too bad baby here's your boat access No, Tucker. Ain't gonna go swimming out there. You got to go swimming in the creek yesterday. place but I'm camping for free I don't know what are these little ground squirrels out here they're everywhere You know, I stop a lot of times when I see cool stuff on the side of the road. I don't know how you guys like it or not, but I'm always looking. Most people seem to like what I like, but you got to see what I found. Of course, probably out of my price range, but uh, here we go. A 1976 Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser. Sign up here said it is, well, I'll let you read it. 
bone ass stock. 26,000 firm. Now a very popular conversion for these is to put in a 350 Chevrolet. This one still has the Toyota engine. Man, that's clean. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Look at that dash. These things are tough. Some would argue some one of the best four-wheel drives ever made. Nothing fancy on here now. She gets the job done. Nice top. I hadn't seen one this clean and original in a while. Never owned one. Worn locking hubs. 107,000 miles. jump seats in the back beautiful Well, that was fun. This old Toyota Land Cruiser just about outdo this tracker every single day. I've seen them go restored close to $50,000. Somebody fix this thing up, put a V8 in it, a Chevrolet V8 in it, redid it, that's what it would bring. Miss Blue. I'm about five, six thousand in. You ask yourself, is this an RV channel or four by four channel? Yep, both. It's a channel about my day. It's a channel about my life. I like RVs. I like four wheel drives. I like my dogs. It's just a, just my vlog, and I appreciate you guys watching me. We're having fun, right? I am. Well, we got a few things done today. Got Wes up to pick up his rental car. Got my mail, got my hair cut. Even got to go look around the campground. Good enough places any to end this little video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Half Yorkie, half camera hand.